Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Alton's Yankees back with another video. Um, in regards to the news that's happened since my last video, um, pro, not pro, but what am I saying? I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, Corey Kluber is in agreement with the Boston Red Sox on a one year deal with the uh, think a player option for 2024 I'm not sure it's not like 2016 where that's his sexy move anymore so I don't really know what the Red Sox are trying to do because They let Bogart walk to San Diego, um, but yet they signed um, Masataka Yoshida, the stud Japanese left fielder, to a five-year deal. And now, with the addition of Corey Kluber, they're not completely subtracting. But then on the other hand, it's so funny because Nathan Yavaldi agrees to, uh, I'm not good with the contract, I don't remember. But I think it's two years, 27 million with the Texas Rangers. So that surprised me because I thought he would be going to a contender and I just don't see the Rangers as that team right now even with all the money they've committed to free agents but that top three of Jacob deGrom, Nathan Neovaldi and John Gray can be nasty if they all stay healthy but that probably won't happen if we're looking at their injury history but, um, yeah, I don't really know what the Red Sox are doing. Um, in regards to the Yankees' left field options, um, obviously Dalton Varsho went to the Blue Jays, as you guys know, which is uh, kind of a bummer because... If we aren't going to get Brian Reynolds, which I don't know if we are, as every day passes by now, Dalton Varsho is the next best option in my eyes for us to get. Uh, because he has four or five years of control, I believe. He plays uh, two positions, left field and catcher. So he could have served as two positions of need for us because, let's be honest, after his all-star all first half, Jose kind of died off and uh, reverted back to the hitter that we all expected him to be coming into the season. So that would have been a great get if we're not in on Reynolds or we don't get him. But another name I hear being thrown around is Jerickson Profar. Now if we get that guy, that guy's a gamer, man. Uh, he hits clutch in the postseason. He's a switch hitter. He can hit from both sides of the plate. He's a good defender. He's a utility guy that you could spread all over the infield and he could play left field as well. So that could be another option. Uh, with all these signings that we're trying to do, uh, we have a surplus of short stops in pitching right now. So does that mean that we're willing to move one big piece for a Brian Reynolds? 
or a Jake McCarthy because man do we have a surplus of shortstops and pitching now in our minor league system so I think I agree with a lot of the other Yankee YouTubers that a big move is coming no matter what because in situations like these Cashman is stealth he knows what he's doing when it comes to this stuff so I have full faith in him that he's gonna pull something big off and <laughs> thank god it. Aaron Hicks will not be our starting left fielder uh, going into the 2023 season which is something I know we all don't want because that guy can't stay on the field to save his life. At the time, I actually liked that deal because I thought he was coming on offensively. He was relatively healthy and it was 70 million over seven years, which is 10 million per. Um, but that deal just hasn't worked out. So, yes, I hope we get Brian Reynolds, of course, but, um, if we can't, let's look at someone like a Jake McCarthy or even, uh, Jerickson Profile, like I just said. Lerdes Gurriel Jr. has also been thrown around. Uh, he didn't have a lot of pop. Last season, he only had five home runs. But that guy can hit the average. And we know he can play. And he's damn sure an upgrade over Aaron Hicks. So we have a lot of potential options. Uh, the reason why Gurriel Jr. is being thrown around is because Arizona is not really a contending team. And... They have a surplus of outfielders right now, so I don't think Gurriel, McCarthy, and the rest of those outfielders, like Monte and them, being on the roster at the start of the season. So I think the Yankees are going to make a move with either Arizona or obviously Pittsburgh for Reynolds. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that we will make a move? Do you guys think uh, Aaron Hicks will be our starting left fielder? Do you think Cabrera will beat out Hicks? Also, do you guys think Anthony Volpe can be our opening day shortstop for some reason? Call me crazy, but I still think it's going to be Ikea because I think Oswaldo will be our starting left fielder if we don't acquire a Reynolds or a Profar to upgrade at that position. So if we don't make a move in the trade market, I think. Uh, Peraza will be our starting shortstop and Cabrera will be our starting left fielder. I don't think there's a spot for Hicks on this team anymore. And there rightfully shouldn't because he just can't play. And when he does, he's not that much of a fact. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, when more news comes out, I'll be back with another video. Peace out. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas as well.